So now moving on to discussing the second body paragraph or paragraph three in the whole essay. Question number one, what details about Alex's personality does the writer provide? Question number two, why did the writer include an example in this paragraph? Pause for reflection or discussion. When you're ready, click back. All right, so in body paragraph number two or paragraph number three of the essay, um, we have a description of Alex's personality, as we saw before. So let's look at question one. What details about Alex's personality does the writer provide? Well, just following the sequence of the paragraph itself, um, we have here Alex is an incredibly sensitive person who lends a hand to everyone in need, right? Um, never asks for anything in return. Um, he's also always willing to share what he has with others. And then we have an example here, which we're going to get back to in a bit. In addition, anyone, um, anyone who speaks to him about their problems knows he is trustworthy and can keep a secret. Okay, very important detail here. He has rarely been caught telling lies. Um, again, one of the key differences between these details and the details in, um, in the paragraph before this one is that physical descriptions can usually uh, be done very quickly and briefly. Usually when you are describing someone's personality, you need to elaborate more, provide complete sentences. Again, you have adjectives, you have qualifiers, but you do have detailed descriptions um, through sentences here. And this leads us to question number two. Why did the writer include an example in this paragraph? One of the ways to provide more details in your description is to add examples. Examples do belong in body paragraphs and they're very important um, to make sure that you develop your body paragraph well and that you add details and allow the reader to illustrate, I mean to visualize what you're trying to illustrate. So don't forget whenever you need to or whenever possible add examples to your body paragraph so that you can be more specific to your readers because that's when you need to do that. Moving on with our analysis, last but not least, the conclusion paragraph, or paragraph number four. So here are the questions. Number one, what phrase in the conclusion signals that this is the last paragraph in the essay? Or what phrase tells us that this is the last paragraph? Number two, what is the tone at the very end of the conclusion? Again, pause for reflection or discussion and click back when you're ready. All right, so let's close this analysis with an analysis of our conclusion, or paragraph number four. So um, what phrase in the conclusion signals that this is the last paragraph in the essay? Um, you may have identified the expression in short, right? Um, in short, in conclusion, to wrap things up, depending how formal or informal your text is, those are all expressions that tell the reader that you're about to end a topic or a paragraph or an essay, in this case, the whole essay. Um, in conclusion is also commonly used. You will see that um, quite a lot in conclusion paragraphs. Um, do you need to use them? Not necessarily, right? Uh, but if necessary to signal, do that. Uh, number two, what is the tone at the very end of the conclusion? Well, first of all, let's, let's address one um, other thing here. That is, the conclusion, the first thing the writer usually does is restate the main points or recapitulate what he or she has covered in the other essay. We've seen before that this is an essay about Alex with a special focus on his physical traits and his uh, personality traits, right? The writer does uh, hint at that here at the conclusion. How? Well. This sentence here, he has taught me that youth comes more from who you are than from what you look like. So he's basically saying, well, yes, I did a physical and a psychological description of, of Alex, but here I'm synthesizing that, okay, I'm restating that and synthesizing by saying, well, I also learned from Alex that who you are is more important than what you look like, right? This is an important thing because not only does it 
restate the two main elements, but also sort of like um, um, values, put, attaches them to a value system here by saying, yes, uh, those two elements were covered, but personality is more important. And the last sentence in the essay um, adds to this tone, to this reflective tone. If it wasn't for him, or Alex and his examples, I am sure I would not be the person I am today. Again, a reflective tone, a thoughtful tone, um, a tone that adds more than just a repetition of the main points. Again, conclusions are not just to repeat main points, much more than that. They are meant to close the essay, to wrap up your thoughts, your ideas, and provide the reader with something else. In this case, a reflection, a thought. There's other possibilities and we're gonna see in other essays.